Hello YouTube! Last time on Zelda Minish Cap, we finished storming the castle and getting all the keys, all the compasses, and all the maps. This episode, we storm the castle, I promise. Uh, I knocked over a tree while I was collecting potions. I'm in this current area. And I, I thought I'd just see what happened when I shrunk myself and went into this small house above here. Okay. Uh, what is this for? I don't quite follow game. Okay. Never mind, I, it's not really important. Let's just storm the castle already. I know for a fact these four trees can become each something special. Got full health. Three potions. Vati has no idea what's gonna hit him. Out of here. It is, he's um, terrified our kingdom long enough. Alright, this is definitely a foreboding corridor. Ha 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 ha. You are present, aren't you? Oh, persistent, aren't you? Ha 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 So, you come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. Only three more chimes left. Yes, the final area of this castle has a time limit. This is one of the most difficult parts of the game, and you are expected to do it under a time limit. From the moment this text box leaves the screen, the timer will start. It's an invisible timer, so beat things as fast as you can, otherwise you are not getting through this. So yeah, if he finishes this ceremony by the third chime, he shall become a godlike entity with, by absorbing the power from Zelda. And she'll be as cold and as dead as a stone, yep. <laughs> So we really have to be quickly now. Our first obstacle is this guy, and we do not have time for him. That's try number one. Wasted so much time already. He can't roll while he, he coughs, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, on to the. That's chime number two, so on to the boss fight now. And to waste your time, they spawn three dart nuts. Are you fucking serious? Uh, I'm gonna use my brain here. Bombs away, bitches. Okay, first one's dead. So let's see, topics whilst I'm fighting these guys. about new Switch consoles, new games coming out, speculate about games. This could be an interesting year for, for games. So, yeah.
Do I have to use a potion? Seriously. Fine. Done. Okay, I've made it to the altar. So, that's the end of the time, the mate. Now all you got to do is worry about fighting the boss. Hmm, just a few more moments and the ceremony will have been completed. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? You are very well. I have not not yet drain all of the light force housed from Zelda, but what I have should suffice shall be transformed into an unstoppable. But let me finish. But let me first tend to the pesky worms who, who will travel with me. Humph. What is a god to a non-believer? <laughs> Come on then, let's be having you. <laughs> we have... I will have more of an... I've had... I will have no more of your interfering with of my plans. Let me show you what... Show you true power. <laughs> so, this is Vati's first form. I believe you need your bow and your gus bellows and your sword so yeah so first things first just stab the eyeballs of this around and then hit the center one with an arrow simple so far repeat this until he dies uh, He's not too tough, there is a decent window to hit him. The fire is mostly the thing you have to worry about. Oh, he can use his sword as well, so you don't need your arrow. Never mind then. Get your spells ready for when I have to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, the eyeballs shoot lasers. Ah, this, um, this is the Cloud of Smoke spell. It's not a big deal, you can stop it with the Ghost Bellows. So, yeah. Just take your time, do not rush. That's the first form. Via oh, I'm already down to one potion, that's not good. Actually, I think it's... Right, on to the second stage, the first form. Now, hit the eyeballs with the gust bellows. Just... Suction them. And there 
you go. Yeah, so there is a point in the fight where you can recharge fairies, but you can't recharge your potions, so keep that in mind. This fight is definitely an endurance test. So yeah, the boss fight is not tiny, but the but if you take on the knights, you can easily fail this fight before it even starts. Okay, first form defeated. <laughs> well, it seems you have some fight in you. I commend your bravery. But you will not survive this. Okay, second form. <laughs> Grr, I am filled with a power that you cannot begin to understand. Do you think that your puny sword will save you from me? Second form is a giant cloudy eyeball with uh, smoke and detective. Eyeballs. This form, you will need your arrows. I would recommend at least 50. So get your first web upgrade. Yeah, we turn around and find the correct pattern. And then hit me your sword. It's... These spiky tumbleweeds can be quite annoying. ones are wrong. Red is correct. So that's what you're looking for here. You can only damage the eyeball. Even though it sounds like you're maybe hurting him, you have to damage the centre. Two attacks, summoning boulders and summoning spiky tumbleweeds. Oh, and energy balls. But other than that, there's not much to his second form. I think out of all the forms, the third form is definitely my favourite. Sadly, no heart spawn here. Fine, I'm gonna push again. Potion. 
hope that I can do his first try. It's mostly an endurance test as boss fight. He has a lot of health in this form. I've never seen him once use the back version of the of the eyeball pattern. Or the right side. So I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if that's even an option for him. And this is the last game that Vati actually appears in, which is, I think is really sad. I would really like to see Vati come back in a later Zelda, in a new Zelda game, either as a main villain or as a, yeah, as a, as a halfway point villain. You know, seriously, we've used Ganon more times than I can count, and it's, and, and Gandalf, it's, Time to use other Zelda villains, Nintendo. Dead. Okay. Okay, we're getting the backside. Backside combination is then. Oh, come on. hours at least. That's one thing you'll probably never run out of his fights. There we go. Second form defeated. What? What? It, this is madness. I have the power of a god. Yeah, what is a god to a non-believer? I have unstoppable might. How could you? I lose to a child. Hey. You did it. Impressive. Now, quickly, we, we must break the curse on Zelda. So, yep, it seems we're coming down to the end. So, Link, now that you have the the uh, power of the four sword. You must, yeah. It turns out to know, yeah. You, just like the other people in the castle, spin to win. And all is well again. A tearful and happy reunion between two friends. Thank you for saving me, Link, so much. When I was turned to stone, I saw visions of you in my dreams. It looks like the curse has been broken. Yes, point out the obvious. 
and a castle is falling around us. There is no time for chit chat or or cuddles or. Anything else? We must escape. The, the main door is blocked. So we have to go a very specific route here. So we must go up. This will be the final part. No matter how long it takes, this will be it. There is no point in chopping this part up into multiple parts. Because. We're pretty much done with the game, all we gotta do is escape. So, yeah, more topics. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake is due to come out in the next few months. Am I excited? Yes, but I'm also speculative. You know, I really want this to be good, I, I do want to buy it and experience it, but I'm skeptical and speculative because. Resident Evil 3 Remake, you were not good, I did not buy you, I did not play you at all. I played the demo and from what I saw from the internet, if I had paid full price I would have definitely been underwhelmed, even half price. Maybe a f maybe, a, maybe a half price or a third the price would have been worth it but no. So I'm hoping that it's this remake is gonna be good. It's so yeah. They seem to go for a more horror themed game, which that's a, a nice twist on Resident Evil 4's formula. Bombs and arrows are also here too. Help us full fairies are full. This is all we can allow for ourselves. Let's get out of here. A lightning bolt. Someone is not quite dead yet. Ha 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 ha. You will not escape, boy. Now you will see the true power of the light force. For I have become Varty, the master of this world. Well, I am no longer a boy. I am a man. I must stop you. This is Varty's final form, and I really like the way it looks. It, it is really nice. Uh, 16, 32 bit pixel art. It looks, it looks great. So items you'll need: the the chain of Picor, Picorai, Picore. Flip its arms over. Get inside and stab the parasites. Only one of them is real and only one of them will do damage. They do look slightly different. So, yeah, that's that explained. Uh, Yeah, reasons why I like the final form the best. It just looks threatening and dark and foreboding and you know, magical and it's just a great looking boss fight. And it uses the main mechanic of the game, the whole uh, yourself to side and take out its arms and sword copy it. The final form is great. The other two form, you know, they're appetizers to the main course. This I feel is the main course.
this part of the fight, do not hold anything back. Just, just kill him as fast as possible. It's a war of attrition. Great spin, definitely recommended. This is why I wanted all the sword upgrades. Okay, it's the first arm down. Yeah, I, I figured it out. The eye that is moving is the real eye. Every eye stays in place. So that's what you got to look for. That's the hint that the game gives you. Watch the pixels carefully. I think a little bit of darkness is going to stop me. There we go. That always took me one cycle. Because now I knew what I was looking for. Right. You have been disarmed. Let's continue. Now he shoots out four balls of energy from his eyeballs. The chocolate. Oh yeah, he also showers the world in energy. The shower is probably the most annoying attack. So just dodge. Whereas the charge of eyeballs, not really an issue. your clones to avoid damage. Uh, nothing but other hints I can offer. Not really much else. Okay, first fairy. Oh, it only gives me four hearts of crap. I was hoping for more out of that. Can't even know. You have to use the edge of balls. It's the gang dwarf tennis nonsense. Yeah, eject clones.
I may as well top myself off. I've got nothing else to lose. And it does combine to the table, which is which is really annoying. Time has to be pixel perfect. Kind of like those Final Fantasy remakes that are coming out soon. To switch. It's nice to come in, but they are quite overpriced. And the whole um, pre order tobacco was ridiculous. I didn't bother, but. Yeah, it's definitely going to be handled better square, seriously. easy now. I already know everything you can do. Too slow. He's dead! Victory is ours! Fool! But the light force! My power! I had so much power! It's fading! Fading! And the explosion of beautiful blaze of glory! Goodbye, Varty! You were a worthy adversary, and I really like you a lot as a as a villain and as a character and as a boss fight and I'm almost sad to see this game end. It's arguably one of the best 2D Zelda's ever made, and yeah, Link, thank goodness you are safe. You defeated Varty. You did well, but we have lost so much. The castle, all those people. And the curse has been broken on Elzar. He returns to his original form, the Grand Wizard of the Minish People. What's happened? The curse, yeah, has broken. My name is Elzar. Yes, we know. So, yeah. The Mage Cat was my creation. But its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for the humans. It's... Is there any way I can, you can forgive me? I know I may have fallen and much of the castle has been destroyed. 
but it's too soon to give into despair. My curse has been broken and Zelda possesses some of the light force. Perhaps together we can do something. Yep, for the power of friendship and uniting the kingdoms of the Minish and the humans, maybe we can solve this problem. If one with a just heart wears this cap, can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wish be known. So, yep. Let's put this kingdom to right. I mean, nice music. In the background, the castle is returned to its former splendor. The staff, the knights who protect it, are returned once more to life. Monsters vanish from the world. And plants and trees grow again. And the streams run with fresh clean water rather than blood. I know we didn't see that, but that's what I like to believe happened to the streams that were covered with evil. Look, the castle, all the people who have turned to stone, they are back to normal. <laughs> the hat is breaking apart, it's overflowing with the power of life force. The hat has the power to turn thoughts of its wearer into reality. Batty's heart is filled with evil, and that was reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart, coupled with the hat's power, created a miracle. Uh oh. Looks like the time for me has come for us to part. The door to the mage opens but once every 100 years, and soon it will close. I must return to my homeland soon. I know I've caused you so much suffering, but the evil one's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Link, my journey with you was exciting to say the least. In fact, more than just a little sad that we must part ways now. Link, please accept this. We got a hat! Yeah, sadly, we have now lost our travelling companion, Elsa, and he leaves us a parting gift of a new hat, and this hat suits us as a little hero. Take care. Goodbye, old friend. I will always miss you. He shrinks his old tiny and farewell, my friend. I do feel almost sad, it's it's a simple and touching ending. And now, credits. Well, that's the end of the Legend of Zelda Minish Cat Let's Play. Uh, thoughts and feelings. I really enjoyed playing through this again. I hope everybody out there enjoyed watching it. This was a quite a long series, almost 30 parts, but I mostly enjoyed it and I, I really like this game. If you have fondness for old school top-down Zelda games, I would recommend tracking this down. It's not really 
it's not too expensive these days and it's not too difficult to find. Uh, where can you find it? Well, it is available on the Wii U Virtual Console. Yes, the Wii U Virtual Console is still alive for the next three months. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you want this game, that is arguably one of the best places to go for Game Boy Advance games at this point. It's less than seven pounds. So go there if that's one of the best places to go for. Other places you can go, or you can go the retro route and buy a cartridge and a Game Boy Advance and play it that way. There is one more expensive route, there is the get a cartridge, get a GameCube, get a Game Boy Player just like I did here and play it on a big television set. Or there is one one more route I suppose, emulation, or hint 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 hint. hint. Nintendo released this on some sort of collection or um, Switch Online service. Seriously, this game is great and it deserves to be remembered and enjoyed and appreciated by people to come. I love all these little portraits that come at the end of the game. You know, that all the characters and it's it's just a nice credit sequence. It's it works, it's very simple. And it, it even shows off some of the bosses. You've got the giant slime here. Yeah, it's... Oh, Satori Iwata, you died too young. We miss you. Seriously. Yeah, you get to see all these stained glass portraits as well. That, that's, that's really nice. Yeah. The Legend of Zelda will continue. For a long time. As long as the power of the Light Force echoes through the ages. So yeah, for a... Is there more text? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that is the end of the game. That's the ending. Final save. So... Alright, I'm just gonna... Do some... File maintenance. But, I've only got... So, this is my best file, arguably. And, this one's my worst, but... That's safe. So, what do you get for beating the game? You get an emblem of a Triforce, and you can now explore Hyrule and do all the side quests that you missed. And that is your post game. There's nothing much else to say, but overall, I definitely enjoy replays, and I definitely highly recommend playing it for yourself if you haven't, or if you already played it. Play it again. It's easily one of the best Zeldas, and it it deserves to be remembered and and recognised. I I'm hoping to bring out some more House of the Dead parts soon, and possibly start some more LPs or do some more big, chunky DVT Gamer Specials. But I definitely want to do, finish this before the end of January. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.